As a pet portrait artist, the most common question I get is, Erica, how do you make the pet come alive on the canvas? Well, the most important step is getting those eyes right. Without it, your painting will fall flat. So in this video, I'm breaking down how I paint a dog's eye in acrylic to look full of life and character. If you want to see more from the studio, subscribe to my channel. Hi lovelies, I'm Erica Eric's daughter and I specialize in custom pet portraits that lead the client to a place of healing. And if you're looking for more in-depth training, I offer those on my site and you can find the link in the description below. It can be quite overwhelming to sit in front of a blank canvas when we think about painting a dog as a finished painting. So let me first share my trick of staying out of ego and the self-doubt and off that emotional roller coaster. I break down my painting process into sections. And I invite you to try this next time you paint a pet. I paint the first layer of the eyes, then the nose, the mouth, the ears, the face. And I do this in layers. So it's just the foundation and the groundwork first. And then I start back at the beginning with the second layer. I'm a self-taught third generation painter and I've always found the way that works for me. And I think you can find what works for you too because the most important thing is that you simply paint and you tap into your creative energy as often as you can. And this will allow your painting practice to support and nurture you. And by breaking it down into sections and layers, we're caring for more than just our painting practice. We're taking care of our mental and our emotional health by using easy and manageable steps to avoid feeling overwhelmed or having that self-doubt start creeping in and maximize our chances of following through with the painting at hand. I even simplify it further by focusing on painting one layer at a time versus painting a section, for example, an eye from start to finish or going back and forth around the face, creating it at the same time, like you would maybe an oil painting doing wet on wet. So after I paint that first layer, I go back to where I started and start again with the eyes. And of course, the portrait itself is the result of many layers. Why do I start with the eyes? Well, for me, the eyes are the window to the soul. And that's why I like making them the focal point of my pet portraits. But you can apply these steps to your style, no matter how you want to paint your pets. Painting the eyes allows the dog or cat I'm painting to kind of step through the canvas and start to come alive on canvas. And it's also healing for the client to see this step as the eyes are what they looked into for many years. Now, if you're painting just a dog or another animal for fun, starting with the eyes may not be as important to you, but it, it's kind of fun. Here's how I paint a realistic dog's eye. Now, painting eyes doesn't mean that the eyes need to be painted in great detail or whatever your definition is of perfect but they do need to have the it, the essence that grabs you and pulls you in when you view the painting. And without a connection to the animal in the portrait, it will be difficult to evoke any sort of beautiful emotions to the subject where the viewer feels like they can reach out and touch the animal. And this is particularly challenging when you're painting a commission of a pet portrait like I do, because you also have to capture that particular dog and cat's essence that honors that particular dog or cat and evokes the emotion of my client's specific pet. But I love that challenge. You're going to start with a finished sketch already transferred onto the canvas and I've sketched the dog's eye here in my online course, How to Paint Soulful Eyes. Once you have your sketch, start with painting the darker tones. This will allow the dog to come through on canvas with soulful intention. I like doing the outline of the eyeball and the pupil in a soft body Mars black. Then I take 
another darker color blend and apply it to the eyeball itself. So what does a darker color blend mean? Well, it's going to depend on the color of the eye in your painting and how much the light is hitting that eye. If this was a German short hair pointer, for example, maybe it's a darker brown blended with some black, for example. In the beginning, I paint each section of the eye, the pupil, the iris, and the rest of the eyeball. And I keep the sections separate and true to the sketch. This may mean that some sections are lighter and darker than what they will end up being in the end, because I need to keep where, keep where each section is, and I need to know where that is. And this is on purpose so I can continue using my sketch or my roadmap, as I like to call it, as my helpful guide since my portraits are pretty detailed. Some eyes will have more definition and color than others. You know, a close-up of a cat's eye, for example, has amazing details and colors, while a lab may appear only to have dark brown eyes. It may be easier to identify the many colors to use for the cat eye, but even a dark brown eye is made up of several colors and tones. It's not just two colors, black pupils and a brown eyeball. Instead, it's many layers, with each layer containing several blends of colors, creating that depth and dimension for a soulful eye. Adding darker tones first, for example, the Mars Black and Burnt Umber, followed by mid-tones, for example, Burnt Umber blended with Raw Sienna, and lighter tones, think Raw Sienna blended with Unbleached Titanium, and maybe some whites, creates depth and contrast. But even in the first layer, I add a little bit of reflection in the eye to entertain myself. If I'm going to work on a portrait for upwards of 80 hours, I want to have some life staring back at me. Now, in this video, I share clips from my on-demand course, How to Paint Soulful Eyes, where I teach you this particular process by just focusing on painting one dog's eye. And you'll learn how to blend the sections together and bring the essence into it through detailed lessons. And this is for you if you want to grow your confidence, connect with your creativity, and learn how to make those animal eyes come alive on canvas. All right, my friend, I hope you found this video helpful to you. And while I only focused on painting a dog's eye full of character and life with acrylic paint today, I'll share more tutorials soon. In fact, if there are any tutorials you'd like to see or if you're having trouble with certain aspects of the acrylic painting process or painting pet portraits, comment below and I'll see how I can help you. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them or the answers to your questions. Bye!